Hello everybody, we're here at RemoteCon with yet another very interesting product demo on remote work tools. Here with us we have Guru, a knowledge management software for the future of work. When you think that at least 20% of our time in work is spent searching for the information that we need, having a knowledge management platform would be quite handy. Guru helps us capture the information, trans transforms it into knowledge, and delivers it where you need it. Your very own knowledge personal assistant, you may say. This knowledge management platform helps keep, keep customer-facing teams up-to-date, consistent, and confident. It knows when and how to deliver the knowledge to you without you having to look for it. It uses AI to make teams better at their jobs by having the right information find them where they need it. With Guru, you can end the shoulder taps, increase your win rate, control your knowledge assets, and decrease onboarding time and much more. It was founded in 2013 by Mitch Stewart, Rick Nucci, uh, and is based in Pennsylvania, US. Their mission is to reinvent the way teams use and share knowledge. And with the use of AI, they want to make people better at their jobs, definitely not replace them. They make that with the, they make knowledge find you wherever you are and when, when you need it the most. For our demo here today, we have Molly Vogg, sales engineer at Guru. Hello, Molly, nice to have you. Hi, thanks for having me today. So this is a, let's say, a knowledge search engine for the company. How specifically does it work? Can you please show us a bit through, through the platform? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can go ahead and share my screen and give a quick introduction about how um, our customers are using Guru today and some of the challenges that they had before Guru, um, and then run through the product very quickly. Sure. Great. So I thought I would start today talking about a lot of the challenges that the companies that we work with um, had before implementing Guru. What we heard is that their teams were working in a ton of different applications. And then on top of that, when they had a question or needed information, they had to go to even more systems to find that information. When they found that information, they started to question whether or not that information was accurate and up to date. So at the end of the day, they just ended up pinging subject matter experts. When we layer on top of that, uh, the remote work and the change to remote work, that became even more challenging because now it's harder for teammates to reach out and contact experts. And also leadership has much less awareness of the different knowledge silos that exist. So ultimately what happens as a result is your customers are annoyed because they want fast results. Your team is frustrated because they're wasting time looking for answers. So ultimately, your team is either sharing inaccurate information or your customers are, are waiting a long time to get that response. So with Guru, there are three capabilities that we're going to highlight um, that help solve those challenges. The first is app proliferation. So you really want the information that your team needs in every system that you work so they don't need to waste time bouncing between tabs to find those answers. Here you'll see examples of Zoom and Gmail and Salesforce, but you could also use the Guru platform in tools like Zendesk or Slack or Outlook. Um, the second is knowledge silos. So you'll wanna push that information out to your reps because you know, most of the time they don't even know what it is they need to search for. So you'll be able to see that here with that information being pushed into their workflow. And then last is subject matter expert engagement. Um, it's really important that there's an easy way for experts to supply and update information to the team. Otherwise, the team won't trust it and they'll just end up bothering those subject matter experts anyway. And what you see here in the GIF is that green checkbox. That's what that means. But let's go ahead and dive into a product demo and I can show you in real time what the product looks like. So I want to go ahead and start the product demonstration in Gmail. Um, one way to improve efficiency, like I had mentioned, is to eliminate the need to bounce between tabs when you're looking to find an answer to a question. And Guru helps teams do this by bringing the knowledge into their workflow using Guru's browser extension and then using AI functionality to push that knowledge into the workflow. So, what I have in front of me here is an email from maybe a coworker or from a customer of mine um, saying that they've been scouring the website and they can't find information on whether my system integrates with Elwood Analytics and can I help? 
without Guru, I would have to go ahead and leave and look maybe in the knowledge tool like Google Drive or Confluence and then come back to this email once I find that answer to reply. We want to eliminate those steps by bringing the knowledge right into their workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Guru Embedded button. Um, what that's going to do is open the Guru Browser extension right over my Gmail interface. The next thing that we see is this AI Suggest section which is Guru actually reading the contents of the email in front of me, as well as taking past engagements into account and pushing relevant information into my workflow. So I can very easily click on this Guru card, see the steps for integrating with Elwood Analytics, copy that information and go ahead and paste it right into my email. So very quickly and efficiently, I can go ahead and reply back to this customer or coworker. The next thing I wanna call out is this green checkbox that we see in the upper left-hand corner of this card. What this means is that this card is in a verified state. Um, and that verified state is instilling trust with your end users and consumers of knowledge. And you're probably asking yourself how. <laughs> I'll go ahead and click on that checkbox. Um, and when I do so, we're going to see two different fields here. The first is what we call the verifier or the subject matter expert. Um, every piece of information added into Guru, we require for an individual or a group of people to be those subject matter experts on that topic. In addition to that, we require an interval of time attached to that piece of information as well, when that information is set to expire. So every time that interval is hit, those subject matter experts will get a notification that they need to revisit that information and make sure that it's still accurate and you still want your end users using it. So ultimately that does two things. Um, it creates that automated workflow for subject matter experts to update their information. And it also instills that trust with the knowledge consumers. And one stat I wanted to throw out here that I found really interesting is that in a remote world, 70% of teams actually access information from four or more teams throughout their day, really showing that knowledge is distributed across your organization you know, if you're in sales, you don't just rely on sales knowledge. If you're on a support team, you don't just rely on, on that support knowledge throughout your day. That's a very interesting fact, to be honest. <laughs> I thought so, too. Um, so, so far, we've talked about how we can push verified knowledge into the team's workflow using the browser extension. So while you're working in a browser application, I did just want to give one last example of how Guru integrates with other tools in your tech stack, like a chat tool like Slack, um, to help answer uh, questions to subject matter experts. So one of the things that we hear firsthand is that you know Slack is awesome. We use it. Slack is a customer of ours. Um, but information very easily can get lost in Slack. There's so much collaboration going on questions being asked and answers being provided, it's very easy for that information to get lost two weeks down the road. So what's really important is that you have the ability to capture that critical information and store it. So if someone has the same question a month from now, they don't need to bother that subject matter expert again. So the example that I have in front of me is somebody has taken to the security channel and said, how do I connect to our VPN? As somebody on the IT team, I might go ahead and reply to this person's question with the steps to connect to their VPN. And now I wanna capture that. So the next person that has that question can use this information without me needing to reply. What I'm gonna do is go to the three dots on the right-hand side of this Slack message and select create card. What that's going to do is pre-populate the content section here with that response that I provided. And then I will go ahead and give this a title. And then I can actually save and add this card into our knowledge base. So the next time somebody has a question, um, they can very easily find it. Um, if I may ask here, um, does the information have a chance to get um, updated somehow? Because, okay, information is somehow um, um, a living thing. You have some some data today, but tomorrow it may change. It may grow. You may add to it. How how can you can you keep information up to date with the with the platform? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so with every piece of information in Guru, um, there are those subject matter experts assigned to it, but also an interval of time. So if 
this information about connecting to VPN, I know changes really frequently. I might wanna go ahead and select a verification interval of one week. Then in one week, I'll get a, a notification saying, hey, make sure that this is still relevant. Um, when I do so, I can go ahead and update and change it so that it is the new information, or if that information hasn't actually changed, I can give it a thumbs up and it'll go ahead and continue to be in that verified state. That's a very good thing to have. Um, thanks for that question. Uh, there is one last workflow that I want to run through. Uh, so we talked about how we could capture critical information in Slack, but I also want to show, you know, it's inevitable that people are still going to ask questions from time to time. So I want to go ahead and show you how it's really easy for subject matter experts to answer with that information um, in a chat tool like Slack. So in this case, I've gone ahead and switched channels to my product questions channel where someone has taken to the channel and said, hey, I've reached out to three people, I haven't heard back yet. Uh, what are the steps for integrating with that tool, Elwood Analytics? So rather than me think of the steps from my brain and type them out into Slack and have that risk of their, them being inaccurate um, or without having to leave Slack and go search in a various different knowledge tools and find this information, with the Guru and Slack integration, I very easily, again, can go over to the three dots on the right-hand side and select answer with card. Mm -hmm. What that's going to do is actually search the Guru knowledge base right here from Slack. So I'll see a couple of options. I can go ahead and view the card that I think is relevant. I can actually read the contents of that card. Mm -hmm. I can see that it is trusted information. And if this is the information I want to share, I can go ahead and answer with that card. What that will do is it'll post that card to the channel. Um, so really doing three things, right? The first and foremost, I don't have to leave Slack to answer this question. So it's saving me time as a subject matter expert. The second thing is it's giving Ted his question, or he's give, it's giving Ted his answer here. Um, so you know he can then move on with his day and, and it's giving it to him faster because I don't need to take the time to answer it. Um, and then the sneaky last thing is it's teaching Ted, you know, I just responded with a guru card. So next time, you know, take it upon yourself to look in guru and find that answer yourself before pinging subject matter experts. And I did also just want to call out one quote since we're talking about Slack from our customer, Kelly from Slack. She's on the, um, she's the learning ops manager over there. And she had said that being able to pull guru knowledge into Slack just like this um, it's huge for them. The ease of which they can take a guru card and share it is, is really a game changer. So I thought that was pretty powerful coming from Slack. I wanted to highlight what we saw today. We outlined uh, the different challenges guru customers face before moving to guru. Um, we discussed how verified knowledge integrated into everyday apps like Gmail and Slack can help remote teams really improve efficiency. Um, it's obviously it's a very useful tool for uh, support teams and um, in many situations maybe sales teams or other types of teams and especially in a distributed um, in a remote from more, uh, remote work environment or distributed teams um, have you seen maybe a change of behavior and maybe needs uh, of the teams that you're working with especially after the, this whole uh, work from home movement yeah absolutely um, in a couple of different ways so before the work from home movement, we primarily saw mostly customer facing teams using Guru um, because they're revenue generating. Mm -hmm. So with the move to remote, we've identified that in addition to just their team's information, there's all that other information that they need. Maybe they need information from the finance team um, about billing. Maybe they need information from legal or security or IT, right? How to set up your VPN. Um, so we've seen a huge push in expanding the user base um, from more than just those revenue generating teams with the work to remote because that other information is still so critical for them to be efficient at their jobs. Thank you, Molly, for being with us and thank you for showing us the platform. Basically, information and processes are at the core of every organization. They enable employees to better communicate, better collaborate, and in the end, perform better in their jobs. This is what Guru is trying to do as well. Help us manage companies' knowledge better through processes and AI. Try to find out the missing link in your company's growth by using Guru and tell us your thoughts. Thank you all for joining us and join RemoteCon for more information on remote work tools. Goodbye.